What's going on guys, Ben here, Enos Tech, and today we're taking a look at the Raven 4 Eyes Touch 2 fan controller. Now this fan can control up to four fans in four individual temperature zones, so you can make sure you've got everything set up the way you like. It features seven LCD colors here on the front screen that we'll take a look at. And I mean, it's pretty simple to use. You get it installed, it's got little touch panels as you, as we'll see in a second here. There are four littler displays across the top here that each represent one of the um, fans that can be controlled. And then down at the bottom, the big bar here is actually a little slider bar, so you can turn it up and down. And then of course we have a mute and um, you can change the temperature between Celsius and Fahrenheit depending on your preference. So Reven seemed to have really tried to have covered their bases here and make sure that this is something that will appeal to everybody. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at it and see how it works. So as mentioned, the Reven 4 Eyes Touch 2 is a simple fan controller, control up to four fans, and it's got a nice touch screen display on it. As we can see here in the top left, we have one fan running at 1650, 80 RPM, and the area is uh, 21.7 degrees C uh, from the temperature reading. We can also go ahead and change those all to Fahrenheit and now we can see it has changed to 71.1. To control the fan, as mentioned, we'll just tap our selected fan, which in this case is fan one. As you can see, we have the slider bar that comes across the bottom and now we can literally, now, once you get your finger on it, press it good enough, you can literally just slide that bar across. And now, as you can see, we've turned the fan off. Now, you can also just tap it to your desired area. As you can see, we've got about a third there. You can go ahead and turn it up almost all the way there. And you can, of course, tap it up the full way. Uh, as you may hear, that beep, it is rather loud, kind of annoying. Reven had gone ahead, and they've included a mute jumper on the back, which... You just pull off the little jumper on the back. Uh, it's in the destruction, so you know where it is. And now the fan's been everything's been muted. As you can see, I can tap it. No, no, I've turned the fan off. No beeps. Uh, it depends on what you like. Me, I like having the feedback of the beep. I just feel that it is a bit loud, as you can hear. Now, obviously. If that's in your case, it's not going to be as loud, but out open in a testing environment, it, it, it's a bit loud. As mentioned, it does do um, seven different colors, which we can go ahead and... I know they're probably a bit hard to see in this video. They actually look fairly good in real life. Um, so we've got, obviously, you can turn the whole display off. Got kind of a light blue... Uh, kind of more of a tealy blue, I guess. Yellow, green, purple, dark blue, and a red, and then again off. And I mean, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else more to it. It's that simple. It gives you a temperature reading. You click your fan, you turn it up, you turn it down. Do you want centigrade? Do you want Fahrenheit? You choose which one you want. You turn your fan back up. And you're good to go. It really is that simple to get this bad boy up and running. Alright, so now we've seen how it works. It's fairly easy. I also forgot to mention in the beginning that it does, of course, come with the fan extenders here and the thermocouple or temperature monitors. One thing to note is that you will want to make sure that this fan controller is fully plugged in, all the temperature sensors are plugged in, all the fans that you want are plugged in before you power it on. If you do not do this, it may not work properly. And also, it is worth noting that while these fan connectors do just connect with a normal three pin uh, fan connected to the controller itself. If you try to connect the fan directly to the controller, it may not work and it probably won't. So make sure you use these. They're not just for reach. Uh, they are a very vital part of this fan controller and need to be used. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to shoot a little closer look uh, up the four eyes touch to go ahead with the review I've already done. The written review has been live for a little while now. I'll leave the link to that down in the description below. So make sure to check that out and see um, what I really thought, especially look at the final thoughts 
conclusion, see what I thought of the four eyes touch, and if it won any awards or whatnot, I don't know. Eh, might be something there, you never know. Um, as always, big thanks to Reeven for sending this in for review, and thank you guys for watching, and please stay tuned in the future for more content.